Welcome to episode 7 in my Go.C Sharp How To series. Today we will be creating a 3D ripple effect. We we'll start by clicking here on 3D scene, rename this guy to main, scene, save scene, click on create folder, type in scenes, and click on save. Let's create a scene for the ripple effect. Scene, new scene, click on 3D scene, rename this guy to ripple 3D. Right click the node, click on add child node, and find the mesh instance. Rename this guy to ripple mesh. Click here on mesh, click on new play mesh, click here again. Let's set the size to 32 by 32, and subdivide width of 30 by 30. Next, click here on material, and click on new shader material. Let's click here again, and let's click on shader, and new shader. I click here on the shader again to open up the shader editor. Shader type is going to be spatial. We're going to have a uniform sampler 2D. Call this water layer 1. Next, let's create our vertex function here. And let's have a look at this guy. I found the equation here for the sombrero function. So, what we want to do is use this guy to create our ripples, which is really simple to implement. Let's get back to the code. You say float c equals the square root the vertex dot x multiply with the vertex dot x plus. In our case, we have to take the z coordinate because uh, y is up. Vertex dot c multiply with vertex dot c, like so. I can say float sombrero equals sin multiply with a c. We can say minus time here to make it animate and divide by the z. And then we have to set the vertex dot y to our sombrero. And you can see we're now getting some small ripples here on the surface. We're also going to save the scene first. So click on scene, save scene, create folder, and call this a ripple 3D. And click on save. Now click on the ripple mesh and click on the shader param. And let's just create a simple new noise texture here. Seamless guy, and click on noise. New open simplex noise. And let's go with that. Let's get back to the shader. Let's add our fragment function. In here, we're going to get the texture for the water vector 4. We call this water equals texture. And we want to get the water texture on water later 1. And we're going to pass in the UV here. And to see something, we can say albedo equals vector 3 of the water.rgb and we should now be able to see something and there we have ourselves a little ripple all right let's add some variables so we can tweak the sombrero function uniform float ripple amplitude equals 0 0.5 and we can set the range for this guy 0.01 and we can perhaps set it 10 and increments of 0 0.01 and then we want to have the ripple resolution as well so uniform load ripple resolution and we can say hint range 0 0.1 20 and we can have increments of 0 0.01 with 3 as our first initial value so let's plug these guys in we want to have the ripple amplitude here and multiply that with the sin. And then we say Z multiply the ripple resolution. We can now control these values a little bit more. As you can see, we're getting ourselves some nice rings on the water here. And with the ripple resolution, we can set as many rings as we want here. All right, we also want to control the ripple speed. So let's go back to the shader. A uniform 
load ripple speed. Now we can go hint range from 0 0.01 to 10 and increments with 0 0.01 equals 1.0. And uh, the resolution was really too much, so it's slowed out to 10 as well. And all we have to do is multiply the time here with the ripple speed. So we can now set the speed for the ripples. All right. So what we don't like now is this big thing going up and down in here. So what we can do is to go into the shader again. And before we pass the sombrero in here, we can say that the sombrero is going to be equal to clamp. And you want to clamp it between minus 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 here. So now we've gotten rid of that big thing in the middle there. We can add this as a variable. Uniform float ripple max amp. It's going to be hint range of 0 0.01 and uh, 1.0. Increments of 0 0.01, and we can say that it's going to be 0. Dot. Well, this can go higher than 1, so we can say perhaps 5. We can say 10 if you want to have that big thing in the middle. And a default of 0 0.8. So let's copy that ripple max amplitude and plug them in here. And we can now also control the max amplitude in the middle here. All right, we have now created a simple ripple effect, which you can use for a fountain or things like that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.